Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Holly. I'm back once again after a while. One day we'll get the hang of this. Uh, today we are going to go over some whips, some finished objects, and some new items. So, what shall we start with? We shall start with whips. So, I only have one besides all that other stuff that uh, I've had on the hook for quite a while. Um, this is a new whip. Um, I only have one because I've been on a roll and actually finishing things and not letting them sit. So, my whip today, it is the Chaffron Shawl by Kersium Crochet. It's a free pattern off of Ravelry and exciting guys. I finally know how to read patterns and I much prefer it over video now. And then another thing I really like are when they have the graphs because sometimes I do get stuck and I'm like, what? What are they talking about? And I got a picture. I like it. So this one is a chaffron shawl. Based on the shawl and Firefly, our Miss Reynolds episode, I am a Firefly fan, so that's why I chose this one. And in the picture, it has this maroon yarn. I really liked it. And I just so happened to be at Joanne's. And there are melon bags, the big random bags. You don't know what it is. I got, I actually found two bags on two separate days with this yarn in it. And if you can see, it's, it's not really, well, this part's twisted. Some of it is not, or maybe that was just the end that I was working with, but it seems almost like a cotton. Is it going to focus, focus? Do I have to get out of the way? Maybe. But anyway, I really liked it. I got eight skeins of this and they weren't much bigger than this and this is what I have done so far they have my little marker for the center so it kind of reminds me of that Wonder Woman pattern right now but I really I really like this and it's working good with this I probably could have sized up a hook to get it a little bit looser I have enough yarn to do two of them, I might do that. One for me and one to gift or sell or something. Um, if you notice here, I don't have stitch markers, I don't have progress keepers, I have scraps of yarn and I have a little mason jar next to my little crochet station and I just put my little ends in there and when I need a marker I just pick it out and tie it on. It works good. Super cheap. So yes, yeah, so that is the beginnings of my chaffron shawl. So, that was my only whip. Finished projects, I got a few, because I was on a roll. I actually had a lot more since it was Christmas and I didn't show y'all my Christmas items that I was crocheting because they were gifts and then I gifted them and I don't have them and I don't know how to edit the video to add pictures and I don't think I even got pictures of everything. So, uh, well actually, if I do have a Ravelry page and I'll try and link that down below and if you're interested you can go there and see all my things that I've made I well not all of them I'm trying to be really good and update Ravelry whenever I finish something I've been trying to enter all my yarn in there and it's just depressing on how much yarn I've accumulated and don't use so we're on a yarn ban until I can get this stash down quite a bit. It, it's too much. So, hats. I made a lot of hats. A lot of hats. And then I was like, I want to try to make my own design. So I did. And I liked it until I started wearing it. It's okay. I live in Texas. It doesn't really get cold, but this last couple of weeks has been freezing, like below freezing temperatures. It's, it's bizarre. So this hat, well, I like the look of it. It does not keep my head warm. And it, it's kind of shaped funny. I put it, we'll try and put it on. It's probably gonna mess up my hair, but who really cares? It's hair. Okay, there's my scene. So here's my hat. 
So I kind of, I wish I had maybe like a longer brim that I could fold up or something because to me it kind of reminds me of a swimming cap on my head right now. Yeah. But I like my striping with my, my half double crochets that I got there. I liked it. I liked it. So that's that. Okay, well, we'll, put, we'll get stacks going. Okay, another thing. Y'all seen this pattern before that I've done? And not my pattern. It's from Yarn Utopia. And for a while, I was calling it the springtime shawl. It is not the springtime shawl. It is the summer shawl. Um, so, I've done it. And actually, the yarn that she suggested, the shawl in a ball. So, but mine is in purple because I like purple. So, here is my finished summertime shawl. Now, I think it would look much better with like a like a nice border, but I'm not confident enough with borders to like just go at it. Um, yeah, that's one thing I do want in the near near future is like a crochet book, a border book, so I can learn how to do all the borders borders so here so yes that is my summertime shawl what is the color it's uh <clears throat> mauve haze maybe maybe that's another yarn i don't know it's the purple and gray yarn from lion brand shawl in a ball so there is that All right, next item is, I've done the Secret Path Shawl by Miho Crochet. And this is another free pattern on Ravelry. I like those free patterns on Ravelry. And one day I'll actually buy a pattern. That'll, that'll be nice. So this is done in Lion Brand Mandala in the Pixie colorway. I liked this. I actually got a, a border on it because I followed the pattern. Um, I do wish I would have maybe went and got another ball or s I guess I could stretch it out and try and reblock it because I did block it already. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know. But yeah. See, it seems just a little bit. I can't get it to, well, that's not too bad. But yes, here is my secret pass shawl. So there's that one. And then I have one more. It is my favorite one. This is the one I actually wear. The others I haven't really worn. And this is another design by Miho Crochet. Another free pattern on Ravelry. It is called the Wild Wheat Shawl. So, so there is that. And it's actually my pattern sash here. And this one is done in the Mandala yarn, the Warlock colorway, which is my favorite colorway of the, the Mandala. Let's see. And I've, I blocked this and I wanted it to be a little bit softer, so I washed it and dried it and now it's come out. A little fuzzy but that's okay because it's for me and in this cold weather I've actually been wearing this under my jacket and it's been quite nice and I like this one the this part isn't too long but the ends are long so it gives it a little bit more I don't know what to call it I like it I like these colors on me so we're just gonna leave this on for the rest of the video so that is all my finished projects. I do have one more work in progress, but it's been a while. It's been on the hook for a while. I started this before Christmas. It was going to be a Christmas gift, and then I decided I liked it and kept it for myself, and then I didn't finish it. So I have another blanket. There's a V-stitch blanket that I've been working on. It's like a coral, purple, white, and like a mixed, like a variegated i have just shown it in another video. I'm working on it. I'm trying to finish it. We're more than halfway done. It's going to get done soon. So this one 
is it's this color. It's the Big Cakes, Karen Big Cakes, and the colorway Cranberry Crisp. And I'm doing the, the actually the, the pattern that is on the ball, the Ocean Waves Crochet Blanket. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to focus because it doesn't like me. Um, so here. So I really like this. I really like these colors. This will be like my fall blanket. Yeah. So then I want to do a Christmas blanket and all the blankets. Oh, I had another project and I left it in the living room. And I don't know how to edit, so. Darn. Okay, so you might have another video soon. Um so that's my other my last whip. Um things I've bought. Now I did buy yarn, but this is way before, this was before Christmas, not way before, it was right before, because it was four gifts and then it was on sale, so I got more for me. And then there was one, I went to Michael's and it was actually this one. It is Karen Big Cakes. I, I got all the Karen Big Cakes. Uh, this one is pistachio macaron so this one I went into Michael's and it was actually on sale for like five dollars this one doesn't have the sticker is this it yes this one is it so yes so I got three I got three of each because to make that pattern on the ball band it takes three so I got that one the spat pit pistachio macaron I've got Three of the cherry compote. I've got three of the shadow berry. And that's it. And for Christmas projects, I actually had, what was it? There's like a mustardy colored one, honey glaze. I really like that one. I wasn't too sure about it at first and then actually when it started working up in the the blanket it looked really nice and I liked it and I actually wanted to keep that one but I didn't I, I gifted it actually gifted it to my sister hope you enjoy it um and then I did another one in the it's like a navy blue gray and a white and it reminded me of the Dallas Cowboy colors cuz Texas North Texas yes and that one was for my brother. Yes, and then I did another one, the beige colors. Can't remember the colorways. And that one was nice. <clears throat> so, that's all the yarn things. Something I got for Christmas. My brother actually got me the one thing I wanted the most. And that was a set of the Susan Bates bamboo handle crochet hooks. He got me the whole set. I love these. They're light. Uh, I like Susan Bates. I like the under the hook part. It's sharper. It grabs things better, I think. Um, some of the the larger hooks, the top is much pointier. This one's kind of dull. I didn't. I kind of wished it was the pointier style, but I don't know if that's just on the larger hooks or if that was just certain hook I don't know but I like these they're awesome um, and then since I realized I can read patterns and I actually enjoy reading the patterns better than doing the videos I picked up well first my brother got me a book for Christmas along with the hooks he got me the complete book of crochet stitch designs this book is awesome it actually has 500 stitches Granted, some of them are like this simple, basic single stitch and stuff like that, but it's still really good. Oh, and on another note, when I was going through my Christmas decorations from my mom, my mom had passed away, and so I've I got all the Christmas things. And in there, I never knew we had this. This is like a crocheted ornament that someone on her side of the family made 
Now, I didn't know anyone on her side of the family crocheted. I originally learned from my dad's mother, and we weren't close. I only met her once, and she taught me how to crochet. So that was that was a good thing for that whole situation. So, and then, so after that, I, of course, had to go to the store. I actually went to Half Price Books, which get pretty good deals. The first one I got there, my first trip, I got the Crochet So Lovely. I got it because of this on the front. And so I'm flipping through, I'm liking all the, the patterns in here, and then I get to the back. I didn't even realize that she's the one that wrote this. I was like, I'm... I subscribed to her channel on here and so I thought that was pretty cool so this one is actually one of my next projects and I'm gonna do it in a purple that I got the loops and threads wool like that really thin I think that would be good for this so that's gonna be one of my projects and then I got a couple more books um, I just got them to have books really so I've got the crochet gifts by Kim Worker. I got Simply Crochet 22 Stylish Designs for Every Day by Robin Chachua. So, and then I liked those. I like this in the middle. I want to try and do that. We'll see. Every time I try to do a, like a cardigan style thing, I end up frogging it. I try to do the campfire cardigan frogged it. It was bad. And then I got Crochet Dress Up by Emma whoa, Friedlander Collins. I thought this would be cute just to have, I mean, I don't have kids, but I have friends who have kids and I thought it'd be little fun things. I don't know. We'll see. It was, it was like $5 for the book and you've got 35 patterns, so Books are the way to go. I really like it. So, that is all the things. Um, I'll probably, I'm gonna try and do this more often. I mean, I'm, I'm crocheting like a fool lately. Getting a lot of projects done really quickly. Um, that probably says I have no life and I don't do anything else besides work and crochet. But hey, that's good. It, it takes up my time, I don't get in trouble, there we go. So that is that. Uh, yes, I never know how to end these things. So I hope all of y'all have a great day. Uh, leave a comment below. Show me that you're coming and you're watching. No one leaves anything. So yes, there's that. Have a good day. It's almost the weekend. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.